My name is Michelle Baig. I am one of your conference facilitators today. This event is part of our Faith and Moral Courage series supported by the Fetzer Institute. Therefore, I offer Fetzer a heartfelt thank you for helping to make today's event possible. And thank you to every person for being here. After knowing you as only names for so long, it is a delight to finally see you in the flesh. Welcome to the Spiritual Ecology Conference at St. Ethelbergis Center for Reconciliation and Peace. The Peace Center was founded in 2002 here to work through the abode of an ancient site that has been dedicated to the remembrance of the sacred for around 800 years. Bridging divides, loving earth, is the mission statement of St. Ethelbergis Center. Our work sits at the intersection of climate and peace. We believe there can be no peace on earth unless we also realize peace with earth. We offer events, training, leadership programs, and multimedia content which equip and inspire people to become peacemakers in their own contexts. Our project strands include community reconciliation, refugee inclusion, radical resilience, viewpoint diversity, and spiritual ecology. The simplicity of the intention of our mission statement, bridging divides and loving earth, runs through every component of today. We won't just be talking about this. We will be exercising this as a value together. In your tote bag, which was given to you upon arrival, you will find St. Ethelberg's principles for convening conversations across differences. These guidelines are there to facilitate the process of coming together across our differences for the sake of the love of our common home, the earth. It's about honoring our relationships to each other so that as a collective, we can better honor our relationships to the plants, four-legged, finned, and feathered kin, and the earth, the weaver of each of these links. This is a central tenet of spiritual ecology, the theme of our conference today. Relationships and their recognition as sacred. Spiritual ecology is a multidisciplinary movement emerging across academia, activism, religion, and spirituality. It is a response that realizes that what lies at the root of our ecological and civilizational crisis is a spiritual crisis. This field is not based upon any single religion or spiritual path but rather points to the primary and universal recognition of the sacred nation, nature within creation and is informed by the teachings of religious and spiritual traditions, indigenous wisdom, and scientific research. The central values of this way to relate to the world are interconnectedness, reverence, service, and kinship. At St. Ethelbergis, we put these principles into practice to explore how they nourish the earth, our more than human family, each other, and engender peace between us. And the shape of our day together will take us through this exploration. In the morning, the keynotes will submerge you in the lived wisdom of spiritual ecology and peacemaking, which is a direct fruit of their lives and their work. After every keynote, you will have the chance to interact during a Q&A session, that is, if we're not running behind program. And these plenary sessions will be moderated by my colleague, Rebecca Briarly. Becca, where are you? Right there. Then, in the afternoon, following lunch, you will participate in workshops led by leaders who embody their service to the world with courage and faith. That's not me just saying, you will see that later on, I promise. After workshops, we will all return to the nave for the panel discussion. 
during which we will explore with, well, no, we will experiment with what it looks like to work with the teachings of spiritual ecology and the possibilities of degrowth in civic engagement with one another across very diverse perspectives. And then we'll transition into a closing which has been lovingly prepared and which we hope you will find nourishing at the end of the day. But that's the end of the day and we're only just beginning. My prayer for you is that you may find seeds to take back to your life and work so that the earth and you can love them into being. <laughs>